Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones. This video is a part of our video series, Thinking with a Pro, where we help you get to know a pickleball pro a little bit better. We're gonna be digging into their background and asking them interesting questions and also their insights on the number one thing that you can do to improve your game today. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. This is Dinking with Ben Johns. All right, Ben, where were you born? Born in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Where did you go to high school at? I was homeschooled all the way through high school. I started playing in February of 2016, so that's about three and a half years now. Cool. Um, Froyo or ice cream? Ice cream. What flavor? Cookies and cream. All right, so if you had to name one of your most difficult opponents, uh, who would that be and why? Um, I would say Matt Wright, because he's very difficult to attack. Sushi. Spicy or mild? Spicy. Uh, okay, if there was one place that you could travel to that you haven't been, been yet, where would it be? Singapore. Uh, uh, describe pickleball in one word. Fun. Uh, dinker or banger? <laughs> banger. If you're not on the pickleball court, where would I find you? Uh, probably studying. All right, so after this interview, you find a million dollars. What's the first thing that you do? A billion dollars? A million. Oh, a million, okay. Uh, I'll put it in a savings account. Okay. Favorite kind of music? Uh, classic rock. All right, so if you're stuck on a deserted island for 30 days, and you have to bring one pickleball player, who would it be? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't right. think about this one. Um, I think I'd have to go with Irina Tarashenko. She'd be comic relief, but also pretty useful. All right, what's two items that you would take with you? Mm, uh, a s no, a cell phone won't do because I have no service out there. Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know, what's important? I have no survival skills. <laughs> That's right. All right, if you have to describe your pickleball game using an animal name, what would it be? Yeah. With an animal? Uh, I think probably a tiger. Okay. All right, last TV show that you watched? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Right. The Vampire Diaries. Right. That's what Christine said. Uh, what was your first job? Uh, I cleaned a pool for my neighbor for six years. Cool. How much did you get paid? Uh, $80 a week. Right. Uh, your most embarrassing moment that you, that you would want to share? Uh, well, on my last flight, the person that the... Uh, at the desk before you take off, said have a good flight, and I said you too. <laughs> All right. So you obviously watch, play, and you probably teach a lot of pickleball. Um, across the board, what do you think most players should work on? Um. Hmm. I would say they probably the number one thing yeah. is limiting m body movement as you're playing. Most players uh, put way too much motion into their shots when really about, it really should be about only one or two body parts moving while you're hitting a shot. Cool. All right, so we're just gonna play out the point, all right? Okay. Thanks, <laughs> man. Yeah, absolutely, Jordan. Good shot, dude. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.